guys welcome back to another episode of sold out and on today's episode we have the jordan brand jordan 37 in hand finally i know it took a minute to get this in but here are my thoughts and kind of what i think about the sneaker if you guys love basketball performance sneaker videos um hit that like button hit that subscribe button we'd appreciate it we just hit a thousand moving up pretty quickly since we hit a thousand i don't know if it has something to do with the monetization or what the issue is but no complaints here and i hope we keep growing and i hope to see you guys join the team soon so guys we also have gear available down below so if you want some gear you want some sold out gear go ahead and order that and let me know some thoughts if you guys have any thoughts on some more merch that i can release here into the future let me know down in the comments so hopping right into it kind of dope box so now down onto the box the box is kind of weird kind of half open type deal it's not a slide or a, a pop top off type deal this is the box the front of the box my box did come a little bit damaged it is a size 8 as you can see set this one over here and we are going to weigh the sneaker now when this sneaker was originally released I was like dumbfounded I thought it was big looking blocky I don't like the 7 um, so I didn't really think I would care for the 37 that much either. But aesthetic wise, I really like the 37's look. And I got this in hand and it does, it's light. Like it's crazy light. So first off, let's get this sneaker weighed. I'm gonna say like 12.3. I was off a little bit, it's 13. It does not feel like 13 ounces. It feels a lot lighter than that. So as we always do, we will work our way from the top down to the bottom. Heel slip in comfort. There was no issues. Uh, tighten the sneaker down. Played for about 15 minutes. Went back. Retied it. No issues whatsoever. Even on the initial tie down. But I just like to go back through once I kind of get the sneaker bending and moving a little bit and tie them laces back down just for a little bit of extra lockdown. Now the padding. It really wasn't much padding on this. This sneaker is basically a low top. Um... Jordan Brand really did not put nothing up here. As you can see, there's just a couple pads right here. Right there, you can see. And then the inside is pretty much like a low top. Low top booty on the inside. Padding felt great, no issue whatsoever. Um, it didn't feel weird, because I know it looks kind of weird when you're looking down into the sneaker. It looks like it might be a little bit uncomfortable. It isn't, I thought it felt great on foot, no issues with that. Heel lockdown, my heel did not move in these sneakers whatsoever. I thought they did a great job on the heel cup inside the sneaker. There's a TPU plastic piece back here, so there's a nice little heel counter back there. No issues with the heel lockdown or the heel comfort whatsoever. On the laces, laces were super high quality, nice flat laces, no issues, they didn't come untied once. They felt great, no issues with the laces at all. Now down onto the tongue. The tongue was great, uh, it's like a neoprene material. Once you get past this like blue piece right here, once you get down there, it's a neoprene material. There is tons of ports in there. They did a great job with this sneaker when it comes to breathability. So yes, I like the tongue on this sneaker as well. It conformed to the foot as well, wasn't uncomfortable whatsoever, and it was still lightweight. It wasn't like thick and puffy like say the PG6s or the Kyrie Infinities. Wasn't like that sneaker. Down on the materials, the materials were the most breathable materials I have ever felt. Um, we had big fans in the gym. I walked by them and you could literally feel the breeze hitting your sock with the sneaker. The, 30, the 34s um, and the 36s are very, very breathable. And this, this beats them. Uh, this sneaker is so breathable, but the material does feel kind of cheap. It's kind of like that Jacquard weave that they use or that Leno weave type thing and you can it's just plasticky feeling like you can hear it making noise every time i walk down the court i don't know if your guys's pair did this or if you you're looking to get this pair let me know if your pair did this i don't know if you can hear it right now but we'll see it's like a weird popping noise and it happened to me every time i walked um it really didn't stop doing it and i think it won't because that's the type of material it is and i feel like eventually this material might like crimp up a little bit depending on if you're like a highly mobile player you do a lot of like toe bend stuff like that i think eventually you're gonna get like a lot of wear and wear and tear like in this area where the shoe creases and the shoe bends um i, I just don't see that really lasting that long but the rest of the sneaker material is great like this jacquard weave like i said it feels cheap it feels cheaper than the 34 and the 36 um but the rest of it feels great like there's a suede right around here Mine has a suede all the way around here. Feels really good. They put synthetics, like very thin, all the way around here. That feels high quality as well. Um, and all the, the synthetic hits here in the back, and then this up here in the collar, it all felt great on foot. Like, 
I had no issues. The sneaker felt comfortable on foot, so it wasn't like it was uncomfortable because of the materials, kind of like the Luca One was for me, but it was just annoying, the noise that it made. It just kept popping and popping, and it was just weird hearing that on foot. Like one of my KD-14s used to do that, but I guess it was a Zoom Strobel on that that kind of had a break in, and it eventually didn't stop making that noise, so this might do that as well, I'm not sure. But for materials, I really didn't care for this, this setup. I know I'm one that preaches huge on breathability, this might just be a little too much. I just wish they would have used a different material on the upper. It, like the, the weave, is the design is dope. I just wish they could have used something else. Maybe more kind of how the 36 was. It just feels a little bit cheaper than whatever they used on the 36. It could be the same material, but it does not feel like it. So for support and lockdown, the forefoot and the midfoot, all the way back to the heel was excellent for support and lockdown. You'll have no issues with support and lockdown whatsoever. Now, down onto something I was super excited about, the cushion. Um, I'm always excited about the cushion. I'm getting older. I like to have something comfortable underneath foot. Um, I get, like, not everybody's like that. You know, they want something fast, something responsive. They want that court feel. Now, with this, um, the forefoot is super crazy bouncy. You got the zoom strobel and the zoom unit double stacked. It is it was it felt awesome on foot i loved it but it felt weird towards the back of the foot like i the formula 23 to me was a huge letdown the luca was a huge letdown and this right here like come on man like you can see like there's gaps and dots all through here so like when you step it can expand but you don't feel it like at all the like heel caging like it's rock solid. I don't know why they did that. I don't know if Formula 23 is so soft and not very rugged that it would just tear apart on court if it was to be stepped on or something. I feel like they keep hiding the Formula 23 and I don't understand why. On the Lucas, you can kind of get a good feeling. It is very, very soft. So I don't know if it's just not rugged enough to be able to withstand stuff like React or uh, like Boost or Boom or something like that. I just... They keep hiding the Formula 23 and I don't get it. Jordan Brand, come on, man. Like, why are we hiding the Formula 23? Can we get a sneaker with the Formula 23 exposed? Is that not a possibility? If that's not a possibility, why did we create this? Because there is no heel impact protection on the back of this sneaker. Like, none. There just isn't. It is what it is. I wasn't a fan of this sneaker because of that. Like, the forefoot felt great, but it feels weird like because you're sitting up a little bit in the forefoot and then you kind of dip back in with your heel down into here and it it's like has great court feel on the back. We don't need great court feel on the back. Like we need that up front more than in the back. Like they, it feels like this sneaker was kind of made the wrong way. Like they should have maybe put the Formula 23 up front if that's going to be the fast responsive cushion we're looking for and put the double stack zoom and strobel in the back. I, I just didn't get it, didn't like it, wasn't a fan of it at all, and that'll probably deter me from getting any Jordan 37s again. Now, down on the traction. I had no issues with the traction whatsoever. Um, I went back and forth to both gyms, and I had no issues. Uh, one was really dirty, so the, the sneaker did start getting really dusty, but I had no issues with the traction. I won't say it's top tier, I won't say it's bottom tier, but it did its job, it did what it was supposed to do. You guys can see the traction here. You guys will see it a little bit in the B-roll as well. I like the traction pattern. Now, down to my recommendations. Yeah, I'd recommend this. Like, it, it's not like the worst sneaker in the world. It's not like I would just say don't get this sneaker just because I don't like that that heel impact protection and then the material. Some of you guys might like that. Now, if the heel impact was there, I'd say I'd still rock this shoe. Yeah, I'd get over the materials and that little noise. That little pop of noise, I could get over that. Wouldn't be a big issue. But I just like to have something kind of comfortable in the heel. Like, it was... It, it just was not comfortable whatsoever, guys. So if you're looking for heel impact protection, I'm just going to say, do not get this sneaker. Now, it kind of reminded me similar to the Kyrie Infinity setup. This is a little bit more bouncy up front, but I wish they just would have put a zoom unit back here because this Formula 23 ain't even nothing far as I'm concerned. I haven't been impressed with it whatsoever. So Jordan Brand, when you drop something with Formula 23 next, either make it a banger just get rid of it we ain't gonna be mad just move on to the next one just say it wasn't good and we'll just keep it pushing now onto the front of the sneaker the front of the sneaker was badass i love the front of the sneaker it felt comfortable if you don't care about heel impact protection and you're a guard or you're a big that's fine go ahead and get it if you're just looking for a lot of bounce off that foot like a jumper i think maybe like 
a dunker would definitely like these sneakers. So guys, this is my rundown of the Jordan 37. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you hit that like button and subscribe button. We appreciate you coming to the channel, whether you even hit the dislike button. But I appreciate you guys stopping by, and we'll catch you on the next episode of Sold Out. Peace.